It's that time of year again that most people aren't too excited about, and honestly, for good reason. Tax season is just around the corner, and while you're scrambling to gather your T4s, your tax deductions, and all other documentation needed, what could be worse than adding to that having to spend money on calculating how much money you owe the government? What the heck, right? If this situation sounds all too familiar to you, well, luckily, I'm here to be the bringer of good news because over the past three years, I've been using a super intuitive and pay what you wants tax software called Simple Tax that makes paying both federal and provincial taxes not only a breeze but oddly also kind of satisfying and fun as you'll see in this video. Hey what's going on savers and investors I hope you're all having a fantastic day my name's Griffin and in today's video we're going to be doing a product walkthrough and sort of review video which honestly we haven't done in quite some time on this channel but since tax season is right around the corner I thought why not provide you some value and help help you get through tax season as smoothly as possible, which is always the main goal on my channel. So as previously mentioned in this video, today we're going to be doing a full product walkthrough of the Canadian tax filing service called Simple Tax, which first made its appearance in 2012 with the goal of making life a little bit simpler for Canadians. After only a couple years of operation, Simple Tax caught the eye of Wellsimple and was subsequently bought out by Wellsimple only a couple years after starting, and since then, Simple Simple Tax has become a staple piece in Wellsimple's product line, making it now also seamlessly integrated with some of their other accounts, notably the RRSP account. Now, before we dive into the walkthrough of Simple Tax, we're first going to be exploring some of its features as well as the fees. Also, if you're interested in learning more about this service in written format, then make sure to check out the blog post that I wrote about Simple Tax, which you can find on my blog link down in the description. First off, one of the main reasons why Simple Tax was first in invented was to allow Canadians to avoid paying extremely high fees when filing their income tax. So for this reason, Simple Tax has always adopted a pay what you deem reasonable fee approach. Now, although you could theoretically file your income taxes for free, well, the company lives off of user donations. So for this reason, if you compare it, for example, to other tax filing services that can easily be 50 to $100, well, even if you go ahead and pay Simple Tax 10, 20 or $30, I would think that this is definitely something that you should do because the company lives off of user donations and this is just in my opinion a good practice especially if you enjoy the service and it helped you file your taxes more easily. Simple Tax is also fully compatible with both your federal and provincial online filing systems even if you are a Quebecois like I am however do note that in order to use Simple Tax you do need to be eligible to have a net file account with the CRA. This actually leads me into my next point, and that is that if your employer has been actively submitting your information to the CRA throughout the year, well, you can kick off your tax return within Simple Tax with a feature that they call Autofill My Return, which essentially syncs all your information held within the CRA into your tax return within Simple Tax, which basically allows you to save some time where you don't have to manually enter every single little bit of information. But ultimately, the choice is yours. You do not have to use this feature if you don't want to. And last but not least, before we dive into the walkthrough of Simple Tax, do rest assured that your information is all secure because your information is fully encrypted within Simple Tax, and you can also turn on two-factor notification in order to keep your information safe. All right, so now that we've gone over some preliminary features of Simple Tax, you probably want to see the tool in action. So if you want to follow along, make sure to click the link down in the description. This will bring you to the homepage of Simple Tax. You can browse through the website, and when you're ready to file your tax return, simply click on start my return. So at this point, I'm assuming you had the chance to create your account. So you're going to have to input your email address and then create a password. And then once you're in your account, you're going to be presented with this dashboard right here. Obviously, your name is going to be there instead of mine. And this is the 2019 tax return. Uh, also note that you can reference back to past returns that you've done with Simple Tax all within uh, the Simple Tax software. So we're going to be going through uh, the preliminary steps to your tax return right here. And then after that, I'm going to be showing you some of the different modular pieces that you can add to your tax return uh, that are applicable to you. Obviously, there's way too many, so I'm not going to go through every single one, but I'm going to show you the gist of how the application works so that you have a good idea uh, of what to expect when you come into the application. So starting off, 
you're going to have to put in your name as well as your last name and then also your social security number, obviously, uh, because the CRA has to match your tax return with their records. So I do actually have to input my SIN here because otherwise the application won't let me follow through uh, with the rest of the return, which I want to show you guys. So obviously I will be blurring this part out, however. Uh, so you have to input your birthday. I'm just going to put a random birthday here uh, because this is just a test. Is this for a deceased person? No. And preferred language will put English. Um, all right. So right here, we're going to be putting 87 got no putting in random stuff here quebec and we're going to put a j9h following that you're going to continue putting in your information here so quebec yes we're going to change provinces here we also have the federal refund as well as the quebec refund which is going to be updating in real time depending on your province this might be the case or not um, it's really going to depend on your province. So um, I'm going to fast forward through all of this stuff here because it's just information about me and then I'll show you. All right, so I'm back now. I've input all the information up top here, which is just information about me, my province and different programs and stuff. So once you're done with that, uh, you're going to see here the your taxes section where you can use the autofill my return that I spoke about earlier. Obviously, for this reason, I'm not going to even show this right now because this is just a test here and I don't want to be doing this. But if you do want to use it, it is here for you. So right here we have what is called the search bar, essentially, where you can search for different things that you want to add to your tax return. So for example, the most common is going to be a T4. So you come in here and you put T4 and then you add a T4 to your return. So once you add the T4, you're going to be presented with this right here, which as you can see is sort of like a block that is added to your tax return. And this is actually how it works within simple tax for every new thing that you add. Uh, there's going to be a new block. For example, if I add medical expenses, boom, we're presented here with another block in my tax return. And then every time I update information within these blocks, the federal return as well as your provincial return, if applicable, is going to update in real time. So right here, I'm going to use just a fake example here, Koala uh, Consulting Co. All right, let's say. And then 14, which is where you have actually your employment income, we're going to put in $70,000. So for example, right here, we have Quebec $70,000. So obviously federal owing right now would be uh, $7,797. And from here, you're going to continue adding things uh, from your T4 that your employer has gave you or someone else if you have multiple T4s. Do note that you can add multiple T4s, right? So here, add another T4, super simple. Now we have Lion Consulting Co., uh, right? And here we made $60,000 also in the prop time. Now notice that the Quebec refund here isn't updating because this is going to update based on the RL1 slip, which is the provincial uh, tax slip for Quebec. So this might once again be different for you in your province, depending on which province you're in. At this point, I'm not going to go through every single box within the T4. However, I am going to input something in box 22 because this is the box where you essentially tell the CRA how much you have already contributed uh, for that calendar year. So for example, uh, we've already paid $8,000 um, in taxes. Well, it's going to automatically update, as you see here, a change of plus $8,000 uh, from what you were owing. So we were owing right around uh, 20 grand here, and now we're at 11,000. Uh, 900. If we added another, let's say $6,000 here, it's going to update once again. So it's very simple and intuitive. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I like it so much. Moving on now to a couple more examples of things you can add to your tax return. As you can see here, the list is extremely extensive. There's a bunch of things you can add to your tax return. One of the more common ones that some people might have watching this video though, is business income from a home business, for example. So this is the T2125, which you're definitely aware of if you have uh, employment income coming in from a business. So you can input everything from the business name, the GST number, Quebec identification number, and all that. 
And then down here, you have the areas where you can input everything related to this business and the income for the year. So here we have the income as well as the expenses, which is very straightforward. Uh, I really like simple tax for this. It makes it really easy. If you click on one thing, for example, it will also bring you directly to uh, the area on canada.gc.ca where they explain exactly what this is. So they are fully informed about what's going on. Other things within the T2125 are motor vehicle expenses, capital cost allowance, other things like that. So it's really straightforward. And uh, we're gonna move on to a next thing right here. For example, if you have rental properties, right? So you can put in right here, rental income. Right away, we're presented with the T776, where you can input, once again, everything related to the income and expenses, motor vehicle expenses, everything related to that property. So I think this pretty well sums up how these different blocks work within your T4 if using simple tax. Again, you can add as many as you want or need, and it's going to update, as I said before, everything in real time. So let me give you an example of what happens if you've already paid enough taxes. Let's say you overpaid this year, you've paid $25,000 worth of taxes. Well, boom, it's gonna show you your refund is $13,000. And uh, one thing, like the reason why I like this so much is because you can play with stuff. You can make decisions based on how much you're gonna receive this year or how much you would receive in subsequent years. Uh, you can play around with RRSP contributions if you are thinking of making an RRSP contribution this year um, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really simple. And then once you're done and you're satisfied with everything there, you can check and optimize it. It's gonna do basically an audit of everything and show you things you could apply for, suggestions, and then warnings. And then up in the top left toolbar, there's gonna to be red numbers beside some of the different things you added to your return. For example, rental income, where it shows you things that you need to input in order to move forward. So that pretty much sums it up. And then once you're done with everything, you have both of your refunds here. It's gonna show you a full breakdown of everything. Uh, what you owe or what you're going to receive. You can print everything off uh, as well. And then uh, before submitting, review for errors and then just submit it. It's super instantaneous and that's it. All right, everyone. So that wraps up the overview of Simple Tax. As I've said, I've been using this service for now three years. So three different tax returns. And as of now, I haven't had any issues. It's been really straightforward and I really like the service personally. If you want to learn more about Simple Tax, make sure once again to check out the link down in the description to bring you to the website. And also make sure to check out the blog article that I wrote on this topic. So once again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow with the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel. We talk about a bunch of different topics such as investing, saving, taxes, credit cards, a bunch of other things. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested for more videos such as this one. And then finally, if you're interested in learning more about what you could do with your tax return this year, make sure to check out the video right here. And also, if you want to learn more about different stocks and ETFs, make sure to check out the video right here. So on that note, once again, thanks for watching and I'll I'll see you in the next video.